Hello and welcome to Flashback Generations episode 26, Han Solo. I believe he's in a few of the films. Yes. Four of them to be exact. Four of them, yeah. yeah, yeah. Four of them so, so far. far. So yeah, far. He's going to be in five of them come uh, December, I believe. Yeah. Great. Um, okay, so yeah, he's obviously a massive character. Harrison Ford is awesome. Yeah, he's uh, Solo. the coolest character probably, or one of the coolest. Yeah. Yeah, and then obviously Nathan Fillion took over his role in Has Firefly. It? No, oh, well, yeah, all right. Oh, <laughs> best, best side track Han Solo independent uh, TV series ever. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to talk about Han Solo for Imperial Assault, and um, basically, uh, you know, for a skirmish uh, level game. Skirmish mode, yeah. Not, not in the campaign because I have no idea what. As you can probably that. tell, size we're coming back from the expo and size exhausted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we're going to battle on and uh, do another yeah, episode. Yeah. We're going to do. Han Who Solo. knows what's going to come out? <laughs> Let's talk about him. Go, Pete. Right. Uh, he's rebel. Obviously, he's a uh, twelve points. He's a red elite card. Twelve points and unique, yeah. Yeah, he is unique. Yeah. Um, he's a, his keywords are smuggler and leader. Uh, he's got twelve health. How many points is he? Twelve. And he's twelve health. Twelve health, twelve points. Oh, that's so expensive, very much. It is a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's speed four because he's a human person. Uh, he's defense one white die, which is standard for the rebel heroes. Uh, his shooting attack is blue, green, green. That's interesting. Blue, green, green. It is. Um, yeah, so okay. it's, a, it's quite an odd one, that. Uh, his surge abilities are, for one surge, you can add two accuracy and add one damage. That's nice. Um, two accuracy and damage, yeah, so he's good at shooting anyway, yeah. Yeah, and his other surge is plus two damage. So he can do plus four damage, essentially, with two surges. And you know, blue, green, green, it's very easy to roll three surges in yeah, that, yeah. sorry, two surges in that roll. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Well, the rest of it is kind of dodgy tricks, really. So his special rules are return fire. After an attack targeting you is resolved, if you did not suffer any damage, you can interrupt to perform an attack targeting the attacker. Limit once per round. I like that rule. So, I, I, I just picture a Return of the Jedi, you know, and when he gets shot a little bit and he just shoots the guy straight back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they did it in Force Awakens. They well. did, yeah. Somebody's shooting at him and he just, uh, yeah, he without even looking, first, yeah. shoot, points and shoots. Uh, and he's got distracting. So he's basically a free shot, that, so that's awesome, really, isn't it? So, yeah, it as is. As long as you didn't get damaged. Um, you didn't get damaged. You, you must not suffer damage. I mean, he's got a white die, so that's going to happen sometimes, isn't it? You know, with the, the, uh, yeah. the cross. Uh, I feel like Hansel is missing kind of like a surge block in there, like a, a free surge block. Now he is a wave one character, so that's his um, problem. Yeah. You know, that's the that's why I think he, now he would have been written with a surge block in there, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's got distracting. While a friendly figure is defending and you are adjacent to the targeted space, apply a plus one surge block to the def defense results. So he's got um, the same as C3PO. So yeah, he's doing the AOE. Um, plus one surge block and he's got cunning while defending apply plus one block to the defense results for each surge cancel result so if you roll on that white die you roll the block and surge cancel yeah, is actually blocks. block block surge cancel yeah yeah um, which is nice well it makes so, it makes it beefs him, up his white die a bit you know he works well with c3po c3po is just so c3o gives him a surge cancel doesn't he straight away he's got yeah. a block then uh, so, uh, so does uh, jid doesn't she have it too Right, okay. Yeah. So yeah, he, I mean, he could, so he could be sitting on um, two block without rolling a die then, couldn't he? I'm, With those two sat next to him, you know? I, I, I still feel like... This two is block, two surge cancel. <clears throat> My, my problem with this, bad. my problem with this is this is Han Solo, one of the most characterful, uh, characterful flavor some characters in the entire Star Wars galaxy. He's got very boring rules. They're a bit, <laughs> they're a bit, uh, he's a bit tortoise-like, isn't he? Really, he's very vanilla. He seems well. He seems to need to stand in a gang group to to, uh, to a get more protection for people and B, give out more protection to others. You know. Yeah, but so it's like, why is this guy suddenly married to C-3PO? You know, because that's what you end up, you know, that's what you be, kind of be pushed did, yeah, towards. Yeah. Like, oh, he, this guy can't go anywhere without his good old pal C-3PO, who he hates, by the way. You know, he hates him and he wants to leave behind all the time and all that stuff. But I feel like he's not nearly as good as Luke because he doesn't, uh, you know, his shot is good. Blue, green, green is, you know, that's a focused uh, stormtrooper, isn't it, you know? It is, it's like stormtrooper plus, um, yeah. And I, I do like, I do like that rule where he 
shoots, like shooting back at people. But I nearly feel like he needs something that's a powerful, um, he needs a powerful shot before other people shoot. He should have Jin's rule, really, you know? Yeah. You know? Which, Bear uh, with, guys, got a phone incident. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, Thank that's you. over. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, he should be a really good shot. Um, I'm thinking he should have, like, plus three accuracy all the time. Just as a, you know. Yeah, he should be He should be a crack shot. He should also have, um, uh, you know, uh, more more surge abilities in there. Like, you know, he should be the guy who knows how to... Uh, he, he needs something that's a bit dirty. Because, you know, he's a guy who... Like, he should have surge get to move movement spaces or something like that, or three even, you know. Do, something is he, dodgy. Is he suffering a little bit too much from um, wave one? Yeah, wave one-itis. Yeah, uh, I think so. I think uh, if he came out now, he'd definitely have he'd be realigned a little bit. I think to be more of a this guy can survive on his own. They probably they probably wouldn't resist. I mean, what does Chewie do? Chewie gives a bonus uh, a bonus block block, but Chewie's got a black white defense, and Chewie's got an awesome gun. Yeah, I think they probably Chewie can survive on his own very well. Yeah, but Han is not so good at that. Maybe I don't, you know. It's, it's, yeah, you're just invited to having. He, he's never far from everybody else, is he? Really? Uh, I I just don't think he's worth his points. Twelve points for twelve life. You know when you look at Luke, Luke's ten points for ten life. Yeah. yeah. Um, Leia is eight points for eight life as well. Like all these. Yeah, but those two have the recover action. Yeah, here's you're getting your life back. You're not going to die in one shot, and they, you, you know, you can really keep them alive. Han starts getting wounded, and he's getting killed. Like Louis, uh, Louis? Louis. Chewie. Never lose Louis, yeah. <laughs> Chewie, black, white die. A lot of the time he isn't taking any damage from that any, at all. Well, yeah. Um, you know, with Han, you're relying on, you're trying to roll. So if Chewie gives a block though, but, so, you know, you know, you'd think they'd be pushing you towards having Han and Chewie walking around together all the time. It's not. But it, it doesn't, it's not quite it's super not optimal. Quite enough, no, it's not, especially because of Han's price. And Chewie's price is even more. So, you know, you can't justify taking, yeah, the Han and Chewie is three quarters of your list. Yeah. So you know you've got two guns. I, I mean, I toyed around with, with Han list because Han is cool, obviously. You know, and um, there was always damn three PO. I wanted, uh, you know, I felt like I had to put in really. You know, it, yeah. When trying to build a, a good list for Tony's, and so like I don't feel right putting three PO in there. It's just you yeah, have to. Yeah. You, the old fluff hormones were playing up. You know. I agree. Being forced to put three PO in, I think, is a little bit silly. And, um, to make Han good, that shouldn't be the case. Yeah, he shouldn't have. He shouldn't be relying on three PO to make himself good. Why is three PO making him good? I mean, there's the argument that you know he's he does rely on three PO a lot, um, but he just doesn't like admitting it. You know that sort of thing. But I don't know. I think I think Han and Chewie together running around the map should be super awesome. Um, and they're okay, but the the bit. Of, there's a bit of vulnerability. They're expensive. Yeah, and it's kind of like that's way more than half your list, isn't it? Three quarters. Yeah. Uh, Thirty. What else did you get? 30, Thirty yeah. points. Suddenly uh, you're looking yeah. at cheap, cheap robots to add in. You know. Uh, yeah. Well, then you got a C three PO. So yeah. it has to be in there. And then so you got ten points left. But like you're, you're not buying much for ten points. Your opponents can be delighted if they see Han and Chewie on board because they're just going to think, right, I'll kill everything and I'll leave Chewie till till the end. And Chewie. Chewie does have a great survivability, and Chewie can smash apart things. But Chewie's again, he's one gun. You know, he's yeah, one gun. I don't know how many Rebel Troopers you can get for the price of Chewie. Uh, well, six points. At least six. Yeah, well, I call it I call it three elites and three. Yeah, uh, um, plenty three much. Elites, but you know, you got and they can have focus so easily and all that. You know, but I mean, um, yeah, th these guys are. Han's probably a fluffy choice, isn't he? If you if you really want to run that. I, I, I know you never see him in the meta. No, yeah, sadly not. <clears throat> not in the tournament scene. Uh, I wonder if he's ever playing in the. Uh, I don't know if he ever plays in um, the campaign. Either. Yeah, yeah. Well, he pops up. But the trouble with the campaign is, um, in terms of these heroes, um, is all the players are playing. You know, uh, non non movie people. Uh, you know, made up people. So these guys pop up, um, and you get one chance to add him to your crew if you like, and then you have to choose each mission whether you use him or not. So they're, they're way underused. You, you know, you got all these heroes and villains, and they're not. You don't get a chance to use them very often in the campaign because you either miss your chance to recruit the card, or um, that mission just doesn't come up. You know, um, so it's it's weird. I don't know why the 
all the heroes are in it in terms of the campaign. They're in it for the skirmish, so yeah, in my opinion, because it's it's strange. Twelve points. Uh, I mean, if we jumped into the campaign, twelve points giving to the uh, the threat aerial yeah. player is a massive thing as well. Oh, I always used to laugh when I was playing Imperials, and, and they take, are you sure you want to take anybody? Luke, well, Luke, Leia, you know, any? Well, not Leia, but Han. Han is a is a, a because you just bring on a ton of stuff and idiotic uh, choice really there isn't it? He, well, yeah. You know, um, yeah. I, I, I've always said that he's one of the poorest choices because he just costs too much. You know, like maybe in some previous episodes I know I've been like, oh, whatever, General Sauron or whatever. But General Sauron's eight points. He's not over the twelve points. Yeah, yeah. You know. Is that uh, ten point mark? In, in isn't fact, it? Uh, Solo is pretty better than Sauron because at least Solo can shoot. Uh, yeah, you know, and so Sauron's yet to be proven, I think. But the, my opinion on him is, yeah, he's probably rubbish. You know, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm glad to be proved wrong. Well, I do. What I do actually want to be see. What I do want to see one day is somehow Han Solo is brought back into the game. Now, um, as we ha uh, right now, um, as the like the midway part through the, uh, the the year of 2016, the spy. Uh, keyword has become a big one. Like that's actually be that's going to become bigger, and it's great that it's come into the game. What we're really hoping is that smuggler at one point has its day and yeah. it actually becomes the, the powerful keyword. Now, it's it's been tried a little bit. You know, we've had the smuggler uh, for um, the last wave a little bit, and it didn't didn't really do anything. No, uh, no. You know, even you, know, you, you get this rebel smuggler, one of the best cards, the Heart of Freedom. Not a smuggler card, it's just a rebel card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. with the Alliance Smuggler for no apparent reason. Didn't yeah, it? if that was. Well, I think that was to get people to buy the Alliance Smuggler. Oh, cynical, but yeah, you know, that's probably uh, why. It's it just, it just the smuggler keyword needs to needs to, to have a little bit more yeah. uh, benefit. And well, it may well do because, you know, we're, we're of the opinion that it's going to be Jabba's Palace uh, for the third one. And there'll be plenty of dodgy types uh, in that, won't there? Um, oh, that's a good call, yeah. Maybe. I mean, it might be like bounty hunter friendly, but um, there's a chance that some smuggler stuff. Hunter, hunter smuggler might be the new. Yeah. Might be the big one there. A few more droid cards, perhaps. The trouble is, yeah, Jabba, it could go anywhere, couldn't it? It won't be imperial stuff. I can guarantee you that. But, <laughs> um, it'll be. Uh, you could have creature stuff. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm wondering if they do Jabba's palace. They start going more into the uh, realm of. Oh, here's a new, a ver you know, black Jedi version of Luke and. Um, Leia in her bounty hunter gear, <laughs> or, or, uh, or bikini. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It, like they could actually, you know, here's a different version of the same model we've already had. We could have another version of Han Solo that isn't rubbish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just fell out the carbonite. Can't see anything. Han Solo. It's like <laughs> <laughs> no. you, you're taxed with one yellow die, and that's it. <laughs> you know what I mean. They could they could get that. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so overall, I, I guess he's not that impressive. Um, so, uh, let's talk about the command cards. Yeah, command cards, right, okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll do, um, yeah, we'll do uh, black, uh, sorry, black market prices. It's quite a new one, this, isn't it? Uh, I think. That is, yeah, this is... Uh, right, black market yeah. prices, it's one point, and you can have one in your deck, and you need to be a smuggler to use it, and it costs you an action, Draw two command cards, then discard one command. Uh, sorry, one card from your hand. You gain VPs equal to the cost of the discarded card. So that's that's a new uh, trick to do. Do you know what it? I like about this card? Oh, do, you know, do you know what I really like? About it's this for card? useless. Yeah, you know, it's like cards you can no longer use, isn't it? Yeah, that card. You know that uh, rebel card that um, if you don't like things in your deck, you can get rid of them if you got all heroes. This is kind of one of the cards I think is actually quite handy. If you've got a smuggler, you can actually use one of his actions if you're doing nothing for some reason. Yeah. If you're doing nothing, you're going to shoot with one of your actions, and the other one you're going to go, you know what, I'll just get rid of this. Uh, and it's going to be a character that's already dead. Yeah. So, you know, if you have lost... And it might be a two or three point card then. Exactly, so it's actually... And then you suddenly get two or three VPs, which might really, really help, you know. Uh, the nice thing about this as well, like because you obviously draw two cards, so it's actually drawn two more cards into your hand. Yeah, that's that's pretty big. 
Yeah, it's a good you know, one. It's um, a little bit situational, I think. It depends who you've lost and well, it's a draw what cards you've I, drawn. I, I actually, I actually uh, look at the first part of the sentence Yeah, a lot more than the second. I think that the, the draw two cards is what it does. Yeah, you've got a good chance of um, drawing something that you're happy to discard for a load of VPs. <coughs> well, okay, look at your leader card that we, we love so much. Oh, draw two command cards for your leader, keep one, or keep them both. Planning, yeah. Yeah, planning. This is the same thing, except you get VPs with it. It is. Uh, well, it is, but you, you, you have to lose a card, but if you've got a card you really don't care about, you, you're happy to do that, aren't you? That so could, that could you, you might draw two awesome cards, that, that get rid of that thing I've been hanging on to all game because I can't use it, you know. Yeah. That ha that happens in it nearly every game though, you're, yeah. you're hanging on to... This is one on I think planning zero for memory. It is. Well that's fine, it's a fair price for it really. Yeah, uh, this is a smuggler card as opposed to a leader card. So this is a way of smuggler, you yeah. can have a smuggler list and have them draw cards instead. Yeah. I think I, this has got a future to me. Han Solo is a leader as well as a smuggler, so you could use either or both. Oh, you know? both, yeah. So if you're uh, going for card churning deck, uh, you know, you never know. You might I, be I, think, I think it's a good card. However, smuggler keyword, one uh, one that isn't used at the moment, so we'll have to uh, see how the future goes. It's around. good for the aligned smuggler who's sat around looking after a terminal most often, isn't he? You know? Yeah, no, it's made for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice card, yeah. Um, and then we'll go on to Han Solo's named unique card, which is I make my own luck. No, no, say it the way he says it. I can't do so. <laughs> I'm, I make I my make, own luck. I make my own luck. I make my own luck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right, uh, so this is, you've got to be uh, Rebel Han Solo to use this. Yeah. Not Imperial Han Solo. Uh, use at the start of a round. Oh, sorry, it's two points. You can have one in your deck, obviously, because it's uh, a named card. For use at the start of the round. A round. Your player claims the initiative token and he must activate you first this round. So, so this is a, a spare steal the initiative basically. It is, but steal the initiative with Han first. So this is way better than take the initiative. It is two points like, you know, but um, okay, the downside is you may not want to use Han first for some reason, but it's not much of a penalty, is it really? No, because a lot of times, if you've taken Han in your list. You're well inside that the Han is getting shot, shot to hell a lot and he costs a lot of money points you know so you're thinking okay well I'll pull, I'll pull this card out one I get the initiative two I get to do hands reasonably decent shot and three I can then dodge him out of the way of the danger that he's about to be killed by yes you can, you're running behind everybody else or around a corner uh, and it's two points so negate isn't actually going to work you can stick yeah, your fingers up with that one yeah negate immune you know? yeah um, so you know they're going to be trying to spy card in the way or whatever but then you're kind of looking at it going oh well Whatever. The, yeah. That's. It's not. It's not an end of the world card. I don't think it's as good as Chewie's. You know, Chewie gets to ready himself when someone dies. And whatever. Yeah. Um, or a lot of characters seem to have something a little bit more aggressive. Again, I think that this card is a little bit suffering from wave one nitus. Yeah. It doesn't have. Uh, it doesn't do enough. And for a fluffy character, for a guy that they had infinite things to do with him, I think it's a little bit dull, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's, I like the surprise of it, you know. Um, so you've, you've used Take Initiative earlier in the game and now you pull this out and they're like, oh god, he, st he stole the initiative again. When you look at characters like the way they just made Lando, for instance. Yeah. Uh, he's a lot more creative with, you know, what they're doing. You know, but you choose how the dice goes and stuff, you know, I, I really like all that. Yeah, the old gambling thing. It's all, well, he's all about dice and gambling, isn't he, so. Yeah. There's bound to be some dice mechanic in there, definitely. Uh, well, you know. This card just feels like. Does he, he think he does something similar in uh, X Wing Lando, they, doesn't he? He they, messes with dice. They could have done this card for any character, really, you know? Like, any, yeah. Any old. Oh, here's an. an you know, let's make up a character called. R R Roberto. Right, Roberto has this. <laughs> Roberto. Yeah, Roberto's got this ability, you know? And you would you would just go, I don't know what Roberto does, but fine. You know? One of the made up guys, yeah. Yeah, and I was <laughs> Ken Swithins or somebody. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, he was in Carnation Street, wasn't he? Was he? I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, uh, so I, I do think it's overall, it's a little bit dull. Um, yeah. Okay, and let's talk about the model. Um, so. Uh, I, I Very actually, quickly then, because the I battery's going. <laughs> the battery's about to die. Yeah, I think the model's awesome for this. It's you know, it's him obviously. Uh, it's in a kind of, it's a bit of a famous pose as well. Like, yeah, so. it's one of the poster poses, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's so. One of the promo. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, Han Solo. It's the, yeah, yeah. FFG doing no wrong, and it's good. It's. I'll it, be honest. I saw we were looking at we were looking at uh, old Star Wars miniature games, weren't we? Or I was. Yeah. Online, and there's a Han Solo where. Um, same scale, you know, um, 
and he's, it's the same costume, it's the old little waistcoat black thing on a white shirt and all that, but he's running along uh, and he's looking backwards from where he's running and he's shooting backwards. I think it's from the scene where he's running away from all the stormtroopers on the Death Star. Yeah. And that, that was like, oh, that pose is way cooler than the Imperial Assault one, but the Imperial Assault one is the iconic, you know, hand in the air posing with his yeah. gun sort of thing. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah. Taking aim, shooting somebody. It's, it's, quite, it's, it's quite, fine. It's quite Wild West. Yeah, you know it's um yeah it fits and it's fine. That's good. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good as sculptures as Pro any of the other. Probably ones. probably an eight out of ten from me. Yeah, it's it's about eight eight yeah. It's eight, but only just. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, we'll leave it off there, and uh, thanks for listening, guys. See you next time. Cheerio.